the octonauts and the scary spookfish. Hmm, you sound a lot better. And your temperature is back to normal too. In a few days, you'll be feeling fine again. Wait and see. Cucumber. <laughs> Get it? Sea cucumber. Because you're a sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's get you back to your home. Twig, are you there? Sure, Cap. What's up? We have an emergency up here in the HQ. The hot chocolate machine has gone haywire. And, and we can't turn it off. <laughs> oh, the guppy's battery is almost out of power. I was just going to replace it. But it can wait. Be there in a minute. Ah, looks like the guppy is ready to go. There we are, nice and comfy. Hmm, I wonder where Tweak is. Oh, it certainly is dark down here. Oh, that's better. OK, little sea cucumber. This is where I found you. Off you go. Thank you. Lappity flippers. Whoa! I think I'm trapped down here in this trench. But you'll figure a way out of this peso. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's just a little dark down here, that's all. Nothing to be afraid of. I'll just radio the octopod for help. Hello, peso to octopod. Can anyone hear me? Come in, octopod. Hello. No radio. The battery is out of power. Ah, there we go, Cap. All fixed up. <sighs> Next time, remember to put the marshmallows into the chocolate after it comes out of the machine. Um, thank you, Tweak. OK, let's clean up this mess and get ready to launch the octopod. Righty ho, Captain. Aye, aye, sir. Steady as she goes. Dashy, call the roll. Quasi. Aye. Tweak. Oh, yeah. Shillington. Present. Professor Inkling. Why, yes. Tunip and the Vegemoles. Sushi <laughs> Uh, we'll take that as a yes. Captain Barnacles. Um, Dashy, I'm standing right next to you. Just doing my job, sir. Peso. Peso? Peso, come in. Peso, stop the ship. Ah, where in the seven seas is Peso? This octoglow stick will help me see a little better. At least while I work out what to do. Huh? <laughs> Peso! Peso, where are you? Yoo-hoo, Peso! Peso, you in here? Huh? Where'd the gup go? <sighs> Better check the gup finder. Oh, no! Cap, Peso must be in the guppy, and it's trapped way down deep in an ocean trench. Peso, come in. Hello? Hello, Peso? His radio isn't working. Guppy's battery must have run out. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay.
Octonauts, there's no time to waste. We've got to rescue Peso. Quasi, tweak, into the Gup Sea. Who, who are you? Bo! Ah! You scared me. I'm sorry, you asked who I am. Yes, I did. So, who are you? Bo! Uh, will you please stop doing that? Stop what? Scaring me. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Well, OK. So, what's your name? Bo! Uh, Bo! Uh, Bo! Uh, Bo! Uh, Bo! Uh, My name is Bo. I'm a spookfish. A what? A spookfish. Everyone thinks we're all spooky and stuff because we have these clear see-through heads and because we can do this with our eyes. <laughs> See? Wow. That is spooky, Boo. <laughs> Told ya! According to the Gup Finder, the Gup E stuck right around here, inside that trench. Yep, our Gup won't fit in there. She's right. Tweak, you wait here. We may need that tow line. Quasi and I are going in. Hey, wanna play a game? Now? Oh, why not? It's called I Spy With My Little Eye. One of us looks around and says the first letter of what we see and the other one has to guess what it is. It is kind of dark down here, but OK. I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. Is it a penguin? No. Plankton? No. Uh, oh, I give up. What is it? A polar bear! Oh, OK, my turn. I spy with my little... A polar bear? That polar bear is Captain Barnacles and Quasi. They've come to rescue me. Hey, so are you OK? Hi, Captain. I got stuck down here when the guppy's battery died, but I'm fine. And who's that wee little guppy with you? Oh, this is my new friend. Boo! Duh. Shiver me whiskers. What manner of wild ocean beastie is this? I'm not a beastie. My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. We can see right up through our heads. Aye, aye. Tweak, we're going to need that tow line. You got it, Cap. Let's hook it to the gup and pull her out of here. <clears throat> OK, lift her up. Steady, Tweak. Careful. <gasps> Yow, Cap, look out! Down there. You guys all right? We're okay, Tweak. But rocks fell over the gup and now we can't move it. Captain, what are we going to do? Quasi and I will just have to try to push that huge rock out of the way. Peso, Tweak will pull you up. You steer away from the rocks. But how will I see where I'm going? If the ship's upside down, I won't be able to see up. Ah, we know someone who can see up. We do? Of course we do. Boo! Sure, I'll help Peso steer. Octonauts, let's do this. On the count of three, Quasi. One, two, three, push! Now, pull, Tweak! Now, steer to the left just a little. OK, steady. Turn to the right. That's it. Now steer left. Just a bit. <laughs> That's good, Peso. Now keep going straight. <laughs> Way to go. We did it. Yay! Well done, crew. You too, Boo! Who? Me! Boo! Boo! <laughs> 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 the Octonauts and the Jellyfish Bloom. 
Octopod to Shellington. How's the eel watching coming along? Uh, it's a bit tricky, Captain. These garden eels are rather shy. They keep hiding in the sand. Good thing I've got all night to study them. Are you sure you'll be OK spending the night out there in the Gup E? Oh, of course. I've got enough kelp cakes and clam sandwiches to last me till morning. Well, good luck tonight. We'll check back in the morning. Octopod signing off. Captain, are you sure he'll be OK all alone out there? He'll be safe inside the Guppy, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty quiet night. Nothing out there except one little jellyfish. What could go wrong? Let's power down for the night. On me. Look at all those jellyfish. Shellington is still out there. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonaut, to the HQ. Good morning, Octonaut. I'm sure you've noticed something strange happening outside. Professor Inkling, what's going on out there? It seems there was a jellyfish bloom overnight, Peso. Jellyfish bloom? When jellyfish find a place they like, where there's lots of food to eat and nothing around that eats them, lots of jellyfish will go to that place at the same time. It's called a bloom. Barnacles to Shellington. I think you'd better drive the Gup E back to the octopod. You'll be safer here. Well, I would drive back, but... Uh... I fell asleep with the lights on and... Now the Gup's batteries are nearly dead. See? Why don't you just swim home? Uh, that wouldn't be a very good idea, Quasi. These are sea nettle jellyfish. Their tentacles will sting you if you touch them. Stay where you are, Shellington. We're coming to get you. Quasi, Peso, into the Gup A. Never seen anything like this. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Hi, Captain. Let's move slowly. We don't want to hurt any of these jellyfish. Hmm, they're too thick to drive through. They're clogging the intakes, Captain. Right, we need to get back to the octopod and make a new plan. Activate helmets, everybody. Prepare to eject. We'll have to swim back to the octopod. Yeah! Watch out for the tentacles! Go! Oh, no, you don't. Ouch! It's a jellyfish sting, all right. How does it feel? It stings. Don't worry, Captain. I know just the thing for it. Thanks, Tunip. I knew you'd have some in the kitchen. This is the best emergency treatment there is for a jellyfish sting. It smells like vinegar. It is vinegar. It should help with the stinging. Ow. How does your paw feel now? It feels better. Ugh, it smells worse. Thanks, Peso. Now, I've got to get back out there and rescue Shellington. Ah, oh, ow. Captain, you need to stay right here and rest until your paw is completely healed. Don't worry, Captain. We'll rescue Shellington. We? But we'll have to suit up first. Come on, Peso. Are you sure this is a good idea? Relax, Peso. Our deep sea suits will protect us from their stinks. We'll find Shellington, give him this extra suit, and then we'll all go home sting-free. 
See? I didn't feel a thing. Hey, so, how's it going out there? Uh, a bit rockier than we'd expected. We can't see a thing out here. Don't worry. Dashy will help guide you to Shellington. Just keep going forward until you get to the sandy sea floor. Thanks, Dashy. How are you holding up out there, Shellington? Uh, well, it is starting to get a bit stuffy in here, and I'm all out of kelp cakes. Sit tight, Shellington. Quasi and Peso are on their way. It feels like we've been walking for hours. Keep going, guys. You're almost there. But we still don't see anything except jellyfish. Shellington should be down on the sandy sea floor, right at the bottom of this rocky Whoa. cliff. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> The sandy sea floor. Shellington must be close by. He could be right in front of our faces, and we wouldn't be able to see him. Huh? Now, don't go wandering off, Peso. I may never find you again. It's one of Shellington's garden eels. We must be really close. There's another one. There. <laughs> Fascinating. The garden eels are even faster than you are, Quasi. Shellington, are you all right? Well, my leg keeps falling asleep, but I think I'll be okay. Come on, we've got to get back to the octopod. Put this on and let's go. Quasi, Peso, how's it going out there? Well, we found Shellington and we followed some garden eels up this cliff, but then we lost. Quasi! <laughs> gotcha! Mayday, Captain! My tail's tangled in tentacles! Help! Quasi! Come in, Quasi! Mm. Oh! <sighs> I never should have let Shellington stay out to study those garden eels. Ah, oh, garden eels. That's it. If I can't get through the jellyfish, I'll go under them, just like the garden eels. Professor Inkling, does anything live in the rocky cliff beneath the octopod? Interesting question. As far as I know, nothing lives down there. So I wouldn't be harming any creatures if I made a tunnel through it. Not at all. There's only solid rock there. But what about your paw? Don't worry about me, Professor. Tweak? <sighs> hey, Cap. Prepare the gup D. I'm going to need some extra tunneling power. You got it, Cap. Just hold on. A garden eel living in a rocky cliff? It can't be. That's no garden eel. That's Captain, Captain Barnacle. Barnacle. Good to see you again, Shellington. Come on, we've got to hurry back to the octopod before this tunnel starts to fill up with jellyfish. Tweak, close the octa hatch. Looks like your paw has healed up nicely, Captain. You know, the jellyfish are actually kind of pretty. Aye, but not when you're tangled in their tentacles. Look at the size of that one. It's good to have you back, Shellington. Oh, thanks, Captain. <laughs> oh, is that vinegar I can smell? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> The Octonauts and the Eel Ordeal.
Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are. Eels! <laughs> lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere, but where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born up the river to this lake where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cap. We've already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. We're going upstream and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Steer with me. One, two, three. Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. The eels are swimming fast. Aye, well we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. Yeah! Ah, turn left. No, right. <laughs> Dashy to Barnacles, are you all right? We're all right, Dashy. We're just going for a little spin. Oh, no. I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the octopod. We're all OK. But the guppe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after them, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacles out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating! Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing! Uh, ooh. Help! Huh? Help! Did somebody say something? Help! 
Where are you? Down here. Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. <coughs> oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry. My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. <laughs> that was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Hi. We'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. That water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. Got it. Grab a hold. Let's go. Okay. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. We have to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. Hi, and full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the gut, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? If you say so. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs>